Hey everybody, it's time for Tip Tuesday and this week I'm going to show you one of my favorite tools, Free Transform. So the Free Transform tool is incredible. This enables you to do so many things. You can scale, you can rotate, you can even warp your images in here. So check out what you can do. Right now I'm going to show you one of my favorite tools, which is actually, I'm um, calling it a tip, but really it's a tool, but uh, here's the thing. If you want to move things around and change and resize and reshape things, what you want to do is use the free transform tool. This thing will change your life if you haven't used it. So we're going to select this layer with a type on it here, and I'm going to hit control T. That would be Command-T on Mac, Control-T on Windows. You see this little bounding box. Now, there's a lot of things you can do. You can scale it by holding down the Shift key. Uh, well, actually, the Option key will do it from the center. If I do the Shift key, it will constrain it. Shift-Option will keep it scaled and constrained from the center. Uh, you can go around the edges. You can rotate. Um, and you can hit Escape. So let me go in here, and I'm going to show you other things you can do with this. If you right-click on it, all these tools come up. We can scale, which we did. We can rotate, but we can also skew. And there's some other ones that are hidden here. Why are these perspective distort and warp hidden? The reason is because these are saved as a smart object. So it's kind of a little bit limited what you can do. So we're going to right click on here. We're going to escape. We're going to right click. And now we're going to um, rasterize the layer. So if you choose rasterize layer, now hit control T and all these options are available. So let's look at some of these other options. Skew, by the way, enables you to do this kind of thing. So it kind of looks like it's kind of going on an angle. And if you right click, you can also choose perspective. And then you can make this one smaller. So it looks like it's going off into the distance. Uh, make this one bigger. You know, so these are the kind of things you can do there. So let me just uh, hit undo that a couple of times. And so I'm just going to undo. And I shall just hit escape just to go back. There we go. Control T. And what else can we do? Um, the other one, we got distort. I love using distort. I use that a lot. So I'll set individual points here. See there. And grab this point. Obviously, it's looking weird right now until I grab the fourth point. And I can just kind of move things around. And you can kind of see this is what I used here. Now let me just hit escape so you can see that's what I used there to map that to the background. And then, of course, we can go warp. And the warp gives us this warp tool. So we can, you know, make things kind of fit different uh, shapes and sizes, um, you know, and that's essentially you can even jump in there. So when you've got uneven surfaces, you can kind of make it wrap around them. So I'm just going to hit enter. So that's free transform. Um, there's a ton of things you can do with it. And notice you don't have to go a lot of other tools. You can just do it right there on screen. So one of my favorite things, check out Tip Tuesday next week at Photoshop Cafe. Don't forget, subscribe, like add a comment, tell your friends about this. And until next week, I'll see you at the cafe. That's photoshopcafe.com where there's a ton more free tutorials and resources on Photoshop. Hey, I just want to thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something that was useful. Every week I'm adding a new tip and new tutorials from Photoshop Cafe. So make sure you hit that subscribe button right now. I'll wait for you to do it. That way you can become a subscriber and be reminded of all the fresh new content that we're adding here at Photoshop Cafe. Okay, now that you're a subscriber, hit the like button and also add a comment. Join in the discussion. And until next time, I'll see you at the cafe. That's photoshopcafe.com.